Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. It's hard to believe the 22nd of June. How do you like that, man? Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer a fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. This is a freaking awesome card, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 127, NASDAQ up 76, S&P's up 21, gold contract up a, a buck trading at uh, 1839 an ounce. We have silver down 37 cents, 21 dollars 47 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off 357, 105.95 an ounce. Platinum down 14 bucks, 925 an ounce. Notes and bonds, the 10 year note trading up one point plus six ticks at a price point of 117. The 30 year up a full two points plus 25 ticks at 136.05, the 10-year right now is yielding 3.14. The high for the year thus far is 3.46. In the last three months, the low is 2.2. Highs 3.4, we're trading 3.1. And King Dollar, King Dollar right now up uh, down 285 ticks, 104, 150, Euro at 105. Yen 136 and the British pound 122 to one US dollar. We'll get over and take a look at the S&P folks, bottom line. We had a higher price. We had the futures down, rejected lower price out here this morning. Uh, bottom line, we'll see uh, if it can hold price. You got, uh, you're up a buck 83 right now. You're trading 376. Uh, you're gonna have a, mm, yeah, we won't have a contraction of volume because you did 76 million yesterday. You should do more than that. Now the problem is, of course, you're coming into 170 million on the way down. But you know, we'll see where the S and P can hold out. The not, the Indice to keep your eye on is uh, the NDX 100, three Qs. Three Qs yesterday, bottom line, they gave a nice tell. The tell there was that, you know, the bottom line, it got over the high that was out here on the 11th of June, closed underneath it. It's going to have lighter volume again today, but that's the number you want to keep your eye on here. That number is 282.34, and right now we are at 283.04. So right now you're at 67 cents above it and more than like, well, we'll see whether it's gonna stay above it. Gold, gold contract did reject lower price out here. That being said, uh, bottom line, it can't get the impetus to go higher. Uh, we've been going sideways for quite some time. We've got to 1824 today, you get 139,000 contracts. That's, you know, that's light contract volume. And that's what you want when you're basically rejecting lower price. You know, we, we coming against, uh, 200,000 contracts as well as uh, 181. So the setup's there. Um, a little frustrating when you go sideways for such a long period of time, but that is what it is. And we go to King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar. What you have with King Dollar out here is you got a high today of 104,947. We are at a low of 103,858. So you're kind of laying out a little doji here. This is a tough one, man. I mean, the bottom line, every t the, the swing high you want to keep your eye on is 105.005. Um, it's surprising that it didn't want to try to get the lower price today because we were up, they're selling it all morning, and then guess what, though? The bottom line is that we can't even get into the swing low that was generated out here last Wednesday, you know? And the big swing low is 103.418. The way this is set up here is like, okay, you know, you came down, but gets, you didn't even get to the, you know, last Thursday's low. And when that happens, that's like, okay, uh, that thing wants higher price. And if it wants higher price, this market's going to take a few more conniptions because um, the bottom line, this market can't stand that dollar when it goes to higher price. We're still in that ABC. We, well, we got multiple ABCs on the way down. Uh, you got to love Powell is out there testifying and, you know, I was, when I was just talking to Jacob upstairs, I was, we were talking about the aspect of, you know, it all, when CEOs come up with bad news, they always start with like small bad news. It just keeps getting worse. That's how it seems to go. They just let out little by little. Well, Powell uh, finally 
uh, gave his most explicit acknowledgement to date that steep rate hikes could dip, could tip the U.S. economy into recession, saying it is possible and calling a soft landing very challenging. There you go, folks. Bottom line is that it, it's a no-brainer, man. I mean, the, the, the differential, okay, the differential here, and I don't quite know how they're going to get a handle on it, is so dramatic it's unbelievable. So picture this, you know, for us that have been around for a couple cycles here, the bottom line is that when, you know, when they charged higher with inflation in the 70s, 70s and 80s, right? The difference was we were starting off at a much lower number. And I'll give you an idea. First house I bought, Triple Decker in South Boston, okay? Bought that in 71. It was 71. Yeah, 71. Paid 14.5%. But guess what? The triple decker was only $14,000. I lived on the second floor. I had a sub shop on the first floor. I rented the third floor for $250. So the bottom line is that, you know, I was a kid, that's all I was used to anyway. But that was a good investment. Now it's worth a million dollars, right? My point is, is that now, we are talking high rates on high numbers. When we had high rates on something that's 14,000 for three units, it's like, are you kidding me? And I mean, you know, yeah, that's South Boston, but the reality is you could have probably been in Wellesley on Newton, and yeah, you would have been paying 50 or 60,000 for a single family, but you're still 50 or 60, and now those houses are like two or three million. You get my point. They have to try, for, I, I suspect what they're gonna do is this, they got to, up, up, up on the rates, crash the economy. Now, they're not telling us, really hit it. Then they're gonna go down, down, down on rates. Because, I mean, what do you do? I mean, how, how do you pay, you know, 10, 12, 14% on millions? It's impossible, man. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 100, NASDAQ's up uh, 63, 75 rather. S&P's up 17, we'll come right back. <laughs>